Masa Mara was uh, on my bucket list, definitely yes. And uh, but this bucket list will be fulfilled in such a manner that I never thought. safaris in India. My brother, cousin brother, he was recently operated for a brain tumor. I had gone to meet him. He is a colonel in the army. And I was discussing with him. He was asking me, where have you been and all. Then he told me, why don't you think big? Why are you going around to all these small, small places in India? Go to Masai Mara or go somewhere like this. And by chance, it was a coincidence, the day before, I had seen your post, Shashank's post on Instagram. There only I <laughs> booked. I said, okay, I'm going. So it was a spur of the moment decision, although uh, it, the background was there, I had always wanted to go. So, yeah. Uh, I've always wanted to come to uh, Masai Mara. Anybody who loves uh, animals and nature would, would always uh, want to come to Masai Mara. And if they don't have it in their plans, I think they should definitely put that in their plans. Uh, so when Shashank had put up that, uh, you know, there is a tour coming up to uh, Masai Mara and the dates were perfectly matching with something that I couldn't, uh, you know, uh, accommodate. So I, uh, you know, it, it was like a no-brainer for me to then sign up immediately. And uh, I'm glad I did. And it's an amazing experience. Uh, probably would be coming back uh, here again uh, multiple times, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> of savanna lands and uh, it's a new topographical site and all the animals are like we uh, there back there we should search for the animals but here we will be uh, we will be searching for the people in between the animals there's are those many kind of animals here the landscape aspect uh, you probably see wallpapers uh, with those acacia trees a single tree in, in the horizon i think we saw that every hour <laughs> so many cheetahs every day we were in Kitan. It was the first time we had encountered cheetah. And I was thinking of when will Kuno National Park open up? No need to go there now. I've seen so many cheetahs. Every day we were sighting cheetahs. And about and the, the chase, the chase. So, yeah. Chase itself, uh, the pounding, the pounding nature of cheetah and all. We had a pretty good yeah. look. I remember the secretary bird with the catch, the snake eating it. That was fabulous. The first thing that we entered and we saw was a hyena, which was something which I have never seen in India, which is very hard to spot in India because it comes you comes out usually at night. But here, the first animal that we saw was a hyena, which was amazing. And then, of course, cheetah, which is my favorite animal. And to see it eight times in this entire trip, it is something <laughs> that has never been done. And especially by me, it was the first time and also to see the chase of the cheetah again and of course lions lions mostly the lions were all sleeping but the last day when the lions just came out and they were walking towards the hyena and towards the zebra that was also very mesmerizing and yes it gives that thrilling experience to me to see the lion going towards the zebra and towards the hyena the other thing was uh, a leopard, a huge leopard, a massive leopard, uh, which we suddenly espied and we were glad that we could get some good shots about it. First of all, the crocodile chased the prey, got the prey and how, how he had uh, eaten that prey. Though it is not a very uh, good sight for me, though, because I'm an animal lover, I love zebras, but yes, that was an experience how too many other crocodiles also came to the same place to you know feed on that animal feed on that prey that was something which i have always seen on the documentaries and the movies and you know all the books i have read but this was an amazing experience i can never forget this
checking so i know what it is to stay in cabs but this was luxurious <laughs> uh, it was i mean to get hot water in a tent and the tent was massive it was even bigger than the hotel room <laughs> it was absolutely wonderful not just the amenities and the services provided over there but also in terms of the surrounding jungle the bush and the animals that we could hear at night and even early morning well at times it was a bit scary because it sounded too near but otherwise it was a thrilling feeling the camp was really they established it really good and they organized it very well and uh, there are no any other lesser uh, amenities than it, any other five star yeah. properties actually we are having all the basic requirements that we want and the food is good actually the food is excellent to mention we had very pretty uh, variety of foods and all and they received us the way the way they took care of us was also very nice kind of like a nice school teacher uh, he knew what he was doing uh, we would probably be like okay let's wait here let's go there or something like that but he had a plan in his mind he knew what he wants to do and he knew the land basically and uh, the one thing that i liked i basically loved about uh, george was um, uh, he followed the rules to the last letter he is an excellent driver and a naturalist and uh, what i like about him the most was that he did not break any rules he ensured that he did not break any rules and he also ensured that we had an excellent safari we didn't miss out on anything this is my first experience with you and i can say it safely that it is going to be the last experience i know because yeah this was pretty informative and you uh, your passion for wildlife shows through the talks your stories and everything so it was really 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 pleasurable to see you talk about animals to hear you to get information from you to absorb what you all you had to give to us can i say that um, uh, this is my uh, second trip with shashank uh first was my kanha experience directly from kanha i jumped to masai mara <laughs> why because in kanha i felt if i want to do a safari i told shashank also if i want to ever do a safari again it has to be with you that's it so without thinking anything a big leap that is masai mara for me join us on our safari tours and expeditions uh, please do connect with us on the platforms mentioned below and if you'd like to know more on india's wildlife and our protected areas please do subscribe to our channel thank you for joining us see you next time